All right, all right, class. Today we have Hood Politics One on One. And this is the second episode of Hood Politics One on One. And this one right here is a pretty good, interesting topic. Now, Kodak Black has been coming out, speaking on Young Boy within the last couple weeks. Uh, we've seen the leaked footage of Kodak Black saying to his fan base that he wants his fan base to do the same shit as YB. Saying he wants them to spam Kodak better, Kodak realer, Kodak made YB. It sounded kind of jealous to me. I have a previous video talking about that. But they actually have a whole history. We remember when Kodak was locked up. When Kodak decided to make a whole uh, montage, a whole film study saying that young boy stole his style, stole his swag. And that pissed young boy off. Remember, he was in bed with Yaya. He made her wake up for no reason. He had like he was going to the jail to break into that motherfucker to go whoop Kodak black ass. So we know that Kodak actually wanted to be his friend at one time. We know that he actually came out, young boy, and said, I don't want to be friends with him to academics, right? So today, I see a lot of people saying um, that he's not hating, that Kodak Black is not a hater. I think that Kodak Black is hating. Now, let's go over the topics as to why. If you can't see the whiteboard, scoot up a little closer or just take a good listen. All right. So the rivalry starts with young boy and Kodak Black. They're both signed to Atlantic Records, right? So who do we think is more valuable to the record label? Is it Kodak Black or is it NBA Youngboy? I'm going to have to give Youngboy the edge. I mean, they're trying to do everything in their power. We're going to cross out Kodak right there. Atlantic Records is doing everything in their power to try to keep NBA young boy. We've seen NBA young boy talking about maybe six a sixty million dollar contract. I'm not sure what he was alluding to, but we seen Kodak Black pocket watching, and he said that he feels like he should get it too. So we know that young boy as well. If he goes independent, he'll probably be the biggest independent artist to ever hit this earth. If we're gonna say that his stand, his fan base sticks beside him the way that they do now, right? So. I'm giving that one to NBA Youngboy. That's no disrespect to Kodak Black because Kodak Black is a legend in himself. Now, and mind you, I'm a bigger Kodak Black fan, but I don't think y'all are going to like the results of this whiteboard if you're a Kodak Black fan. Now, let's get to, they both started at 16. They both started at 16 years old, so they had the same lane as well. So this is this is very interesting. This is why the rivalry is what it is. They're basically started in the same path. They both come from the hood, poverty, you know what I'm saying? All types of shit going on. Kodak started at 16. Who was the better artist at 16? Now, me particularly, I'm a Kodak Black fan. I think that he was a better artist at 16 when he first came into the game. A lot of people, though, are going to debate that that's young boy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check them both off. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all. I'm going to give y'all 16. Both of y'all were legends at 16 in this game. So this is where the rivalry heats up. This is me explaining the rivalry. They are definitely in the same lane. I'm going to give it to Kodak because I think Kodak kind of recreated that 16 year old gangster lane lane like we ain't really seen that since probably like the hot boys like Lil Wayne and Turk and all them being so young but overly thugging right so I'm gonna give the same lane to Kodak Black right so we're gonna cross we're gonna cross a young boy out with the same lane now it's about to get dark <laughs> Hey, we cover all bases of why I feel like Kodak Black is hating. This is where it gets dark for Kodak Black. This is why I think Kodak Black's hating. I think it's also competition, but this is where the hate comes in. Young boy is better with women. I know what y'all thinking, but we live in a day and age where you kind of need a woman on your side to pop. You know, we see little baby and his woman, money bag, his woman. 
This is what happens. Even Jack Boy. You know, these people, we seen Von, Jack Boy got the same. You know what I mean? Like, this is what I'm talking about. We see Kodak Black. He's thirsty as fuck. He's always begging women. He's been harassing Carisha, Young Miami. He's been harassing her for years. And she says she don't want him. She even came out and dissed him. Like, what the fuck? I look like fucking on little Kodak. Yeah, that's what she said. She got Diddy. Kodak publicly cries out for his women. Cuban doll, he wanted her. Zendaya, he wanted her. Has he pulled any of these bitches publicly? Have any of them wanted Kodak Black? No. No. He's shooting his shot above his fucking well-being. But guess what? Guess what? Hold on. NBA Youngboy is better. NBA Youngboy is better with women. Why? Because he creates the image of these women. The Janias. We don't care about no fucking Yaya Mayweather. Niggas cared about her because she dated young boy. A rich motherfucker dating NBA young boy. A nigga with herpes. A nigga with herpes is pulling more women. Kodak Black just gets publicly embarrassed. Cuban dog came at his neck. None of these hoes want this nigga. That's all I can say. It's no disrespect, but it's the truth. Literally, NBA Youngboy has bitches trying to kill other bitches over him. Yeah, Yaya Mayweather fighting them cases. Listen, I'm sorry, Kodak. You do not have better women. Right? Shout out to Youngboy. Better fan base. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. If Kodak, if Kodak Black's fan base was better than NBA Young Boys, then Kodak Black wouldn't be in his fan base's DMs trying to create a strategy similar to NBA Young Boys. He's begging his fans, yo, you got to say this, when in actuality, NBA Young, NBA Young Boy don't even tell his fucking fans to say why be better. That's just something that started. It was authentic. And that's why... NBA young boy has a better fan base, right? Kodak Black sold 60K on his last album with the number one hit in the country or number two, whatever Super Gremlin was, number three. NBA young boy ain't hitting them charts like that because he's a YouTube sensation. Literally, his fans still doubled that in sales on the last album. Imagine what he's going to sell this album. His album right now is number one on Apple Music over Beyonce. Kodak Black wouldn't dare drop a week or a week after whatever it was Beyonce drops. Come on, let's be serious. So we have to give this to NBA Youngboy with the better fan base. Let's cross Kodak out. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. I know this sounds silly, but this matters in the rap game. Who goes to jail better? Yes. Who goes to jail better? Now, I don't condone niggas going to jail, especially black men. Now, both of them are legendary when it comes to jail. Right? Kodak Black got a pardon from Trump himself. From Trump. YB, we all know he did it. But he just beat the fucking feds when he came into the game. He shot somebody or shot at somebody in the neck and the nigga lived. And this nigga still was out there. They both go to jail. They're never even free at the same time. This is the first time they've been free at the same time in years. Now, I will say, I'm going to get them both checks. But I kind of respect young boys better because he ain't called no white man his daddy like goddamn Kodak Black does. Yeah. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Who's better with it? Would you rather be freed by Trump? Freed by the... Or have to go fight the feds? I don't know. It's stupid. Now, when I say dress better, style, just swag. Who do we think got it? Who looks cooler? Who do the kids like more when it comes to that? Who do they look to more? I'm sorry. Kodak, you've never been one known... You've never been one known... For being a great dresser. You dress like a true Florida 
Florida hood, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, you wear your colorful shit and everything. But sometimes you could do a little better. That's not really your swag. That's not really your swag, man. Nobody literally. I haven't seen no trends being said it. I see little kids. Matter of fact, we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say that now. More kids. I know it's crazy, but y'all both is on the Lil Wayne route right now. Y'all want to try to have as many kids as you want. Um, yeah, we gotta get that. Obviously, we giving more kids. To young boy. So far, YB is better, right? Now, more clones. When I say clones, how many young boys? The whole state of Louisiana sounds like NBA young boy. The whole state. JD Youngin, they used to say he wanted to be like young boy. Everybody from Louisiana. Now, while it is a Louisiana thing, I'm seeing motherfuckers moving like young boy. They talking like young boy. They trying to do it interviews like young boy. Kodak Black. Everybody respects Kodak Black, but you don't see Kodak Black cones. Now that might be an actual, you know, homage to Kodak Black. Just because Kodak Black in actuality is hard to mimic. You know, he has his own style. He raps off beat sometimes. Um, but it's still swaggy. You know, the wicks. Like, you got to be a true Florida nigga to emulate Kodak Black. You just can't be anybody, right? Now, I'm going to give that to YB. He has more clones. So, we work in the charts. We work in the charts. More haters. Who has more haters? Ah, NBA young boy. The whole industry hates him. The whole industry hates NBA young boy. Not even just the rappers. The label, his label hates him, but they can't go without him. His label hates him. He tells motherfuckers, don't sign to Atlantic Records. And he's still getting to drop albums. If Kodak Black, a nigga who just sold 60K, came out and said, do not sign to Atlantic Records, which in actuality, this is why I said he's a hater, because he always has to try to do one up. He always tries to one up, young boy. Remember, young boy said, hey, don't sign to Atlantic Records. Kodak Black then tweeted out, sign to Atlantic Records. So, it's clear that you want to be a rival, but I'm confused because you wanted to be his friend at one point. Yeah, you wanted to be his friend. He said, I don't want to be his friend. Now you hate him again. So, this is what I'm talking about. It's just more of an opportunity that Kodak Black is looking for. He don't know if he want to beef or if he want to be friends. Just whatever is successful, he's throwing some shit on the wall hoping that it sticks. So, Kodak, you out of here, buddy. Now, more money. Need I say more? We're going with YB. I mean, the man literally got $60 million coming. Kodak Black is not getting a $60 million offer. This man could go to jail. Both of them go to jail very frequently, and young boy is getting offered $60 million. He's saying he already got off. Kodak Black is saying he need to step his game up to get to that. So I'm assuming that young boy probably is he's more successful. He has more individual plaques than anybody not named Eminem. The money's rolling in. The YouTube money's rolling in. He's just more successful. I don't know if that necessarily equals more money, but it looks like it equals more money. So we're going to go with that. Last two. NBA young boy. He doesn't have antics. He has no media support. No social media presence. That's what I'm saying. And he's still more successful. Kodak Black, he likes to pull media stunts. He likes to do his little antics. Now, some of that's just his personality. But Kodak Black, he does what he does on social media to get attention. He has to. NBA young boy, he's non-existent. His fans still love him. Kodak, you're out of here. We going with that. And last but not least, no industry support. No industry support. Kodak Black has all the support in the world. I say that because Kodak Black can hop, get anybody to hop on his feature. Respectful. That's traditional. Yes, that's not a bad thing. But... Kodak Black, when you're dealing with the industry, I'm sure he has to deal with all the fake shit, 
all the fake industry friends that he rather not fuck with, but he knows, like, man, I need to put them on this song. NBA Youngboy can drop a 30-song album with two features. Literally, two features. It's going to double the sales of Kodak Black. Um, it doesn't matter if it's better, because that's all our perception, right? But that's what I'm saying. Kodak Black is friends with everybody. He's at the Justin Bieber party where he got shot at. He's with Lil Dirt. 21. He works with everybody. NBA Youngboy don't got to do that. NBA Youngboy, you win. You have no industry support yet. More successful. So in actuality, it's a million reasons as to why Kodak Black wants to, uh, probably would be hating on NBA Youngboy, jealous, envious. Y'all can trade out the words. It's still going to be the same shit. All I'm saying is we got Kodak Black winning what? One category, jail. Come on, man. And even when Youngboy gets out of jail, he's hotter. Kodak Black had to start over when he got out of jail. His label said, go get hot. Imagine that. Your label tell you to go get hot again. That's why he had Super Gremlin. He said it. He was dropping senses. That's why he was dropping all those EPs and shit. Trying to get hot. Which it worked. But let's be honest here. NBA Youngboy, they show up to court for NBA Youngboy. Yeah, they said we're going to build a fort around his house. Security. We're going to build a studio. We're going to get him a babysitter. Yeah, we're going to put him on the side of the country where nobody at in Utah. Yeah. The label not doing that for Kodak Black. They said, go buy Sinar, do your five years. Yeah. Luckily, Trump came in and slid. You feel me? Now, y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I foolish? Y'all let me know, man. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit that notification bell. If y'all like the, the work that I put in on this, make sure you like, 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 like. And please subscribe, subscribe. We about 9, 10 away from hitting that 1K. And then we're going to set a new goal. So we out, baby. Big Just the Fell IG and Twitter. Boom! Our daddy channel. <laughs> Our daddy channel.